Hello there, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed 2, the Ezio Collection. We are... So where we left off, um... We didn't really make much story progress. We were... We just talked to... What's-his-face? Um... Leonardo da Vinci. Uh... Our good old family friend, Leo. And he fixed us up with a second hidden blade. So now we got two of them. For the first time in the entire history of the franchise. Um... And we've got multiple assassination methods as well. Uh, you know, you got the drop assassination, the ledge assassination, and the from a hiding spot assassination. Which are all pretty cool and all really help us fit it up fit up our arsenal. But we are hunting. Oh right, I also, I guess, changed my colors to fit what, um, I just changed my colors because I could. Uh, yeah, so we are about to meet La Volpe, who is the leader of the Thieves Guild, or at least he's got connections to it. I don't know if he's the actual leader. But he's implied to be. Uh, yeah, so we're about to le meet La Volpe, and why do we need to meet La Volpe? Well, just as a catch-up, uh, basically there's this whole conspiracy of people, of, like, these Templars that are trying to basically gain power and do all sorts of things, and... We, as assassins, have to stop them. They're also kind of directly responsible for the assassination of... Not the assassination, but the execution of... Like... Almost over half my family. Uh, my dad and my two brothers just... Got publicly executed. So I think it's about time for a little bit of payback. We're slowly hunting down the targets one by one. And yeah, let's see. Do we know? Yeah, so here's the conspirators. We know Rodrigo Borgia is right there in the middle. Uh, we recently assassinated Vieri de Pazzi, and we are about to attempt to assassinate Francesco de Pazzi. However, he's... We're not really sure, like, how to get to him. We know he's somewhere in Venice, and that's about it. Let's actually see if we can't... Okay, we, we have not unlocked a video about him yet. Anyway, without further ado, let's just continue with the story. So, Fox Hunt. Locate La Volpe somewhere near the Mercado Vecchio. Well, we got Eagle Vich. Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? This this also has a glyph. Um But also, uh you know what I think this is a significant enough location that we should actually read about it. Um, I'm also not just doing this because I didn't bother doing any research whatsoever. Uh, it's been a busy week. It's been a very busy week for Haru, so I have not been able to do any, like, research that I want to for history lessons and stuff for this series, so instead we're just gonna have to deal with whatever the fuck my mind comes up with, and just the random tidbits that the game drops us so but but we were talking about economy in the last part and i think Mer mercato vecchio is it makes sense that it has something to do with economy 
So, it's the center of Florentine business. Would you believe that? Uh, the Mercato Vecchio served all the shopping needs of the city. To quote Antonio Pucci, a 14th century Florentine poet, Physicians dwelt around for every ill, and here were linen cloths and flax merchants, pork vendors, and apothecaries. The Mercato was established first in Roman times as the site of the Forum, and only in 1030 was the first docu was first documented as a marketplace. Staple foods from the countryside, like grain, were the most popular goods sold followed by wool. However, if shoppers became bored with the basics, to quote a 15th century poet, Il, Panor Il Panormita, there halfway down the street stands a happy whorehouse, which you will know by the very smell of the place. So, yeah, it's basically the center of commerce uh, in Florence. Um, so, we're gonna have to locate La Volpe, but we're also gonna have to locate a glyph. And also, I see a feather up top. So, we got several things we have to locate. Alright. But also, no, I think that that was a really cool bit of lore, however, um, is the fact that, or not lore, uh, hi historical fact. I think it was a really cool bit of historical fact that, um, yeah, this place was built by the Romans, but it wasn't a marketplace until, like the remind me how centuries work 11th century yeah anyway so we have ourselves wait where was the target we apparently found the target i don't remember seeing a target uh oh there he is uh but now before we do that i do want to see if we can't find this glyph it's always good to get those out of the way. I don't even remember if there's like anything special like in-game you unlock from doing them. Uh, other than like a cool little video, I guess. Well, we've got you who's gonna be an asshole, so hang on. That remind me, there we go. Let's just get some throwing knives. Oh, come on. There we go. Lock on you. Oh, fuck off. I was hoping I could just get him to, like... I was hoping I could just, like, kill him, but... Sadly, he hopped on over the other side. Seriously, though, where's this glyph gonna be? If it's not top side... Let's check down below. Perhaps the glyph is down here somewhere. Um, alright, we got one of you assholes. Where is the glyph? Where could it be? Oh yeah, also the sun looks kind of neat when you're in eagle vision mode. Ah, does any, anyone remember eagle vision? Back in the days of eagle vision, when eagle vision was a thing. 
these days we just have like Odin sense or whatever. Like you, you send out a pulse and it just tells you like nearby things of interest. Ah, uh, the eagle vision was like the golden age. Seriously though. Where is this? Where is this cliff? It's around the area. I wonder... Uh, should I just Google where the glyph is? Is this boring? Tell me in the comments if this is not interesting to just see me wander around aimlessly looking for glyphs. Because if so, I will 100% just like... Hop over to Google. Yeah, I have literally no fucking clue. Okay, um... I did not mean to do that. Okay, what's this location? Database... Mercato Vecchio. Uh, I, yeah, I, I'm just gonna open up Google here real quick and we're gonna... Do it very easy-like, alright? Save us some time. If the internet's gonna load, because the browser likes to be slow sometimes, especially when I'm doing anything involving OBS. Okay, AC2 Mercato Vecchio Glyph Location. Shut up, Acer Product res uh, Registration, yada yada. Okay. Tell me, where's this glyph? Um, I guess I'll watch this YouTube video. We're gonna have a YouTube video inside of a YouTube video. Oh my god, we're gonna break the universe. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god, this dude is on like an Xbox 360. Would you look at that? Oh, is that it? Hang on. Ah. Okay. I see where it is. Alright, we can close that. So... Yeah, it's in the region. But it's not in the actual Mercado. It's actually around the outside somewhere else. Don't you shove me. Don't you. you know what? Fuck you. You get to die. Along with your other two friends. You are a dead man. <sighs> I mean, that's what you get if you shove me just for walking close to you. All right. So, the glyph is somewhere, oh, don't drop off Ezio, you're supposed to stay up top. The glyph is somewhere, is it up there? That is not what it, what? My pouch, oh, my money. money. Uh, I don't have your money. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Get back here. I didn't want to start the mission. I I wanted to find the glyph, but I guess we're gonna mistake, have to do friend. the mission. All right, this dude this. stole my money. Why don't you give up? There we go. I really have no interest in hurting you, so give me back my money and we'll call it even. Not so fast. What do you want? Who are you? They call me many things. <laughs> Murderer, Tagliagole, thief. But you may call me La Volpe. At your service, Messer Ezio. <laughs> How do you know my name? 
<laughs> it is my business to know everything in this city. Isn't that why you're here? Indeed. I need to find someone. To know where he'll be before even he does. Who? Francesco de Pazzi. There's word on the street of a caravan just arrived from Roma. A secret meeting at sunset tonight. You can learn something of Francesco's whereabouts there. Do you know where it is to be held? Maggiardo. Let me know when you are ready, and we'll go. Ah, yes. <laughs> Here is your money. And there's Fox Hunt. Okay, uh, no, 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 I'm not done yet. I want to get back to wherever the hell, where was it? It was the marketplace. It should be fairly easy to find, right? Also, the villa's got more money. You know what? We should actually go pick that up at some point. Seriously, though, where was the Mercato? There he is! Lajou! I did not mean to do that. I assumed I had my hidden blades equipped. Alright. You know what? We can check the map, right? The map should have a better view of where the Mercado might be. Would this be it? That's vaguely Mercado shaped. If not, it might be this. I guess we just head... What direction is that? This direction. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yeah, main reason I want to do the glyph is just because I know for a fact I will for Like, I want to do the glyphs as soon as I find them. Because... Oh, are you kidding me? Come on, VTube Studio. Catch up! Everything okay? Okay, there we go. My model is back to movement. Uh, yeah, I want to do these glyphs pretty much as soon as I find them. Uh, because otherwise, if I try and just, like, go back to them later, I know I'll just forget. Has he been drinking? Where was the Mercato? Not here. Maybe north? Yeah, maybe it's a bit north. No, that's not it. Hang on. See, this is why I didn't want to start- Oh, there it is! Found it. Okay, so our glyph- Okay. First off, you need to die. Uh, but yeah, our glyph is going to be... Somewhere around here-ish. Oh, is that it? That's that's where it is, I think. Yep, there it is. Found the glyph. I promise we're gonna make some actual progress in the story today. There were mostly heroes. See how the lineage is disrupted? The web of history traps the good, and the evil take what is not theirs! <laughs> Alright, glyph time. Blo brothers. Oh, it's one of these. These are very easy. Let me just take a quick drink. Yeah, these are so very easy. Just line that up. And then line that up. And then line that up. And then... Hang on.
Okay, you know how I said this would be easy? It's actually not. There we go. Okay. And Satan said unto Cain, Swear unto me by thy throat, and if thou sh tell it, thou shalt die. I have no idea what that means. Uh, okay, this one is a little bit more difficult, but I think I see where it lines up. This one over this way, maybe? No. There we go. Uh-oh. Okay, we're going to be moving some other stuff, so I need to have... <sighs> Damn. Right when I thought it would be easy. Okay, I think that maybe makes a little bit of sense. No, it doesn't. Actually, this one needs to be here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes, there we go. And now, awesome. And all these things were done in secret. And one last glyph puzzle. I'll admit these puzzles aren't that bad. Like some of them are maybe a little tedious and you kinda have to look up the solution if you don't really know what you're doing. But for the most part, like... Especially compare them to Skyrim's puzzles. Uh, these ones are actually like... They're actually puzzles, but they're not hard. Well, they are kind of hard, but like... You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not... Impossible. There we go. And Cain said, Truly I am Ma Mahan, the master of this great secret. Oh, please tell me we've only got one more of these to do. I just want to get back to the game. Does that look lined up? That looks lined up. I honestly have no idea what looks lined up at this point. Uh... Okay, that looks lined up. Now, up here. Okay, that's gonna rotate the inner circle, which I do not like, but we're gonna have to live with it. We can just change this back. And then the outer circle. Oh. Huh. Okay, well, this we can change there. This we move back here. Okay, this isn't quite lined up. There we go. Wherefore, Cain was called Master Mahan, and he gloried in his wickedness. Are we done yet? Behold, the mark of Cain. So, something to do with Templars? Oh, we found a passcode. And there's the file. Okay. Now that's done, let's get back to actually continuing the story. And run along the Venetian rooftops because that is just fun to do. Hmm. 
So yeah. But yeah, uh, tell me in the comments if you find me just like struggling around to try and find all these glyphs. Uh, if you find it tedious and unenjoyable to watch. But for the time being, I'll just leave it all in because this is just how I play the game. It's actually not how I played the game. It's how I play the game now. If I were to have played, like, back in the day when I first was playing this game, I would have just ignored all the glyph locations until after I'd done basically everything else, and then I kind of did the glyphs at the very end game. Like, post-game, really. <laughs> Alright, so what do you have for me, La Volpe? Oh, would you look at that. There was someone over here that... Okay, I guess I'll kill you. We're running a little low on throwing knives. That's not too bad. Alright. Down we go. Also, uh... Does anyone remember... Could you swim in this game? I think you could swim. I can't remember. But anyway, let's talk to you. <laughs> Follow me. But we must move fast. Think you can keep up? That's your problem. So, meet La Volpe at Santa Maria Novella. And let's actually read his whole database entry. Why not? So, date of birth unknown. Profession thief. There's almost no trace of La Volpe in his, the history books. The name's obviously a pseudonym, but for whom is anyone's guess? What small data is available seems to be almost mythical. La Volpe is reported to have robbed the Pope's carriage without any of his guard noticing, including the Pope, who was sitting inside the carriage. One night in 1467, he was seen on the rooftops of the Palazzo della Signora, the Palazzo Medici, and Santa Croce, all at the same time. Some claim that he's immortal, never aging, while others say that his violet eyes can see through can see through buildings, perusing the contents inside. Yeah, all that is fabricated bullshit. Okay, so we have to basically follow this guy around, I guess. <laughs> what are you doing back there? I said to keep up with me. The game is... Okay, there we go. I was saying, this. the game is treating this like a race, but I'm not feeling a race yet. Oh, and, but we get the good music for it. Yeah, we get the good music. What's it this way? Fuck! Losing precious time here. Oh fuck. Okay, you know what? I, I'm I'm just gonna run across the bottom. And now up here. Okay, this was not the running across the rooftops that the game wanted us to be doing, but it was it's something. Here we are. Francesco Di Pazzi is meeting his people inside that church. How do I join them? There are catacombs that run under the city. They will lead you to a place where you can eavesdrop on the meeting. Grip that stone handle, turn it, then slide it down. Thank you for all your help, Volpe. Mm. Buona fortuna. And there's another mission complete. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Yep. 
Ouch. Uh, there's the medicine button. All right. So, yeah. This is, I think, the first instance. We're gonna see a couple of these throughout the game. And this is actually where you can collect, like, the keys and whatnot to unlock Altair's armor. And this is just kind of like a little mini dungeon. It's like... So the dungeons in this game are few and far between. Uh... And they're really just kind of... Platforming challenges, I guess? Uh... Yeah, they're... What's the right term? Um... Platforming is correct, but like... Yeah, it, practice your climbing and your free running and that kind of stuff. So, infiltrate Santa Maria, Santa Maria Novela's catacombs to reach the Templar meeting. So... We don't yet know, like, where this guy is. Hang on. There we go. Uh, I think. Wait a minute. What's the game wanting me to do? Okay, so here's a cage. The game was clearly hinting that it wants me to climb up on this thing. What does that accomplish for me, though? What does that do? If I'm right here. Uh. It's been a while since I played- oh. Well, there's a very obvious glowing lever right here. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played, so bear with me if some of these are very obvious. Also, you notice up there in the corner, we are in a uh, full-on, what do you call it, mode? Um, wanted mode. The opposite of incognito. Which tells you that there are enemies in the area. So that's the way that we're gonna have to go. Find a way through the collapsed stairwell. Yes, indeed. But if... Oh, fuck. I fucked that up. Uh, can I... There we go. That's one of the neat little tricks that's very handy. If you know how the free running in this game works. Alright, there's another lever activated. obvious leap of faith and now over here we see How some long guards do we have to stand here Saverio it's so cold what do you want Hilario they said Patsy is paying us good money to watch the entrance and the dead won't try to murder us I can't wait to go home to Elena and tell her how much gold we made tonight
Alright, so... Yeah, we've got some guards. And... Somehow we have to find a way to open that door. So let's... I mean... First thing to do is just kind of inspect your surroundings. This looks like a way up. If I can actually do the free running correctly. The controls are a little janky. Oh my fucking god. Like I swear I'm I'm doing this right. Just straight. There you go. Put me only three tries. We got some bats hanging around here. Like this is Batman. Bam. Oh, oh hello. Uh, yeah, be quiet. And I'm also gonna loot your corpse. Ah, oh, good five florins. Amazing. Alright, hang on, hang on. Uh... What do you mean I can't use... <sighs> Why is it locking away my throwing knives? Now oh, well, away. guess we're gonna have to do it this way. You know what? Just... You go down there. And I stab you. That makes this a whole lot easier. Oh, and we got a throwing knife for our trouble. Even though we didn't use them. And then down here... Now it is the age-old statement of... If you're running into enemies, you know you're doing the right thing. Okay, so that has been done, whatever that is exactly. I do, however, see a glittering chest, and I am all for the glittering chest. Now, is this going to be a timed thing, I wonder? Secret area located, 250 florins, don't mind if I do. But, yeah, um... So yeah, speaking of Florence, we are gonna be heading back to the villa after this, I think, because I don't think it could bear that much. Uh, yeah, I don't think we could bank that much, and I don't want to be wasting money. It's not like money is gonna be a big issue in the game, but yeah, in general, I don't want to be wasting money if I don't have to. Okay, where do I go next? Uh, this way. <coughs> and there's another checkpoint. Interact with the thingy. And the door is now open. Master, the door. Keep watch while I go look. Supposed to be an easy job. I told you we shouldn't have come here. If I hear anything, I'm a running to the other guard post. So help me God. All right. Now we get to test out our drop assassination. Maybe. Well, we do have water beneath us. Are you serious? Are we like too high up to drop assassinate? I guess we probably are. Well, gonna head down this way then. And now it's time to do some drop assassinations. There he is! Down you go. And I guess I'm gonna. Just have a bit of a fight with you, I guess. Oh, 
and down he goes. All right, now the other guy is going to run, I believe. So we're going to have to... Saverio, I'll be back with the other guards. There we go. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to chase after him. Yes, I think I go the way. It's just a little bit of a free running exercise. Leave me alone. Have to find a way out before it kills me. All right. So you close that off, but we can run over here. Oh, that's why this closes off me from using my throwing knives, because if I could use them, I could just kill him right now. Yep. Almost had him, but he does close off right at the last second. Run faster! Run pasta. Guards, two arms, two arms. Fuck. Kill the I thought I did the assassination. Damn. Guess we alerted everyone. Hello! Now, let's try it again! Come on. Come at me. Now, the plank. Get to the other side. You are the one that caused all this trouble, so you go down first. Fight! Can't take Fight. Us all, boy. <laughs> Who's next? Okay, I mistimed that. And that. Round the flank! Get you on the blind side! Or. Let's try it again! There we go! Finally got a good time to counter there. Ooh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. By the way, the best counters in the game, uh, or in the franchise, I mean, those come from, uh, probably Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. That generation was, like, basically, like, counter chains were one of the most interesting thing. Like, they were one of the most fun th things you could do. You were basically a god with them. Like, you could just chain an entire group of people with just a single counter. Anyway, we go up there, but first loot the bodies. Maybe they'll have some throwing knives on them. Wouldn't mind stocking up on those without having to pay for it. There we go. Got it some nice throwing knives off of you and off of you as well also let's re-equip our hidden blades all right so this is the way we go and now we've got a templar meeting to eavesdrop on Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti, descendat super vos et maneat semper. Grazie, Padre. Bernardo? It's all here. Swords, staves, axes, armor, bows. Our men will want for nothing. I take this gift to mean the Pope consents. He gave his blessing to the operation. As long as nobody's killed. 
We're all set for the Duomo in the morning, signore. The bait's been laid, but it wasn't easy. His fool brother keeps changing his plans. See, si. We'll need to be on hand to make sure Giuliano even gets out of bed for church tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Jacopo? Do you think they suspect something? Impossible! The Medici are too arrogant or too stupid to even notice. Likely a bit of both. <laughs> Do not underestimate our enemies, Francesco. Or have you already forgotten how your son was murdered? We'll suffer no such surprises this time, Maestro. You have my word. Molto bene. I should be off. I have some other business to attend to before I return to Rome. Gentlemen, tomorrow a new sun rises over Firenze. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the Father, the Father of, of Understanding, understanding guide, us. guide us. And those are the Templars. So we've now identified pretty much everyone. Look at that statue. It's identical to one in the Villa Auditore. I think you've stumbled onto one of the assassin's tombs Ezio's uncle mentioned. Oh, no kidding, Sean. But yeah, uh... Now, we've now that much... we know the way in, I'll tag the landmarks containing tombs in the database. Are you done interrupting me, game? Yeah, now we pretty much know everyone involved in the conspiracy. So... Let's open this. Help ourselves to this sarcophagus. And it's a thingy! And that will be our way out, presumably. Uh, so who, who was this? Darius! Aha! The original Hidden Blade guy from Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Okay. I think that's everything. So let's head out. Oh, we are loaded with cash. Yeah, we're going to be hopping back to the villa and investing. 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 Do a little spinny spin as the game loads. And welcome back to the overworld. I know where Francesco will be and when, but... What is it? I overheard something. They have weapons, enough for a battalion. Even the Pope has given support. Mm. Typical of Sixtus, but... What the hell are they planning? I couldn't understand the specifics, but it involves the Medici, and it begins tomorrow morning at the Duomo. The Medici will all be there for Sunday service. Along with the rest of Firenze. They're going to do it right in the middle of high mass. But it's also a chance for me to blend with the crowd, get close, and stop this madness. If they succeed, if we lose Lorenzo and Firenze falls to the Pazzi... It will not come to that. I promise. I hope you are right. All right. Looks like that's gonna be the next thing, yeah. We've got the Potsy uh, are planning to overthrow the Medici family and take control of Florence for themselves. And we have to stop them. Not only because we're kind of allied to the Medici, but also just because, like... The Pazzi are evil and allied with 
The... What do you call them? Uh... The Templars. Yeah. Alright. But yeah. The villa is starting to fill up, so I think it's a good time for us to head over to... Fast Travel Station. We don't really use these very much, but they are very handy. If you want to quickly make your way to... Say, for instance, the villa. Like Don't mind me just getting rid of that because it was annoying me. And oh, hang on. Uh, I just have to run with you. No one will look twice. In fact, it's what I'm only a courier boy. You can have it. There we go. Okay, uh, I'm going to now, just because I see it on the map, let's go and collect this money right here. Okay, fine. I'll kill you too. Jesus Christ, everyone wants to die. I literally just want the chest. Like, you didn't have to lose your life over this. Down we go! Alright, so let's talk to this fast travel dude. Uh, take me back to Monte Regioni. It is totally worth the 100 florins. I can absolutely afford that very easily. Alright, just gonna do a little bit of housekeeping, kind of quite literally. Uh, because yeah, we got a lot of money stored up in the villa. And I would like to start improving it as well. Also, we got a few other things to do as well, like codex pages and like a thingy for the stuff. There, there's all sorts of stuff to do here. So first things first, let's check out the chest. Take our money. And now talk to you. Buongiorno. Salute, Serezio. Shall we take a look at the list? Alright, so what are we gonna renovate? Uh, I think it's just good to get everything that we can. Like all the vendors and stuff, so having a bank at level 1. Nice. Uh, doctor we already have. Tailor we do not have, so let's get a tailor as well. And an art merchant. So now that's all those, now let's go for the big stuff. So let's get a brothel. That's going to bring in lots of money. Uh, open up the mines as well. And let's see. I guess we could afford the military barracks. Yeah. Alright. We have spent all of our money, or almost all of our money, that is, on vastly improving the value of Monte Regione. You here to look at the book? And yeah, let's just take a quick look here. So we're 14% complete. And I for 
I didn't check what our income was beforehand, but uh, currently our income is 2,000 florins every 20 minutes. That is really nice to see. Yeah, all those renovations really bring in a lot. Uh, as well as various other things, but mostly renovations and shops. A presto, Ezio. Now, let's add a codex to the wall. Oh, we got several codexes added to the wall, actually. And let's see what else. Oh, right, downstairs. Oh, yeah, there's a few things. Uh, so first downstairs, we can go ahead and plug in the thingy that we found at the place. So it was Darius. There we go, place the seal. And there goes the first lock. Alright. And that actually increases the value as well. Yeah, all these things, just these little tiny things that we're doing are increasing the value. Uh, and up here... Yeah, the feathers. That's that's what we still have to do is the feathers. So that will be upstairs. In mom's bedroom. No, don't do that, Ezio. Pop some feathers in here. And that also increases the value. Oh, would you look at that? Awesome. Now... What else is there to do? Well, there's apparently a thingy here. What? What is that? Ah, it's a tomb. No. Is that... That's the tomb, right? What the hell is that? No, don't put a custom marker there. Uh, okay, so... I doubt we'll be able to afford it, but I do want to see if we can get ourselves a map of the Monte Regioni. Not the tailor, it's the artist. You wouldn't happen to... Oh, you do, and it's actually very cheap. Awesome. And come again, sir. And now we can see where all the chests are in Monte Regioni. And yes, some of these are locked off pretty much until you do certain renovations like the brothel I think unlocked a renovation for us um but yeah just all sorts of nice little things treasure maps pretty much pay for themselves because they tell you where all the treasure is and then you can immediately make all your money back uh but don't worry we're not gonna spend all our time collecting every single little piece of treasure that we find. We're just gonna... Oh, this is inside the church that has yet to be renovated, so let's not bother with that. Uh, let's see if we can't find the brothel, though. The brothel was somewhere. And that had some stuff. There's also the well that we... That would be the brothel, I think. That looks pretty renovated. Uh, 
Yes, indeed. Now, does the brothel have... A treasure chest. Anywhere. Might have one up here. I'm actually not sure. I think I heard a sparkly. Hang on. No, 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 no. Ezio, you know what I want. Get on that thing. There we go. And then we continue upwards. There we go. There's the treasure. And that, I think, is a good place to call it. Uh, we've... Okay, I'll, I'll collect that other treasure that's over there too, but... Yeah. We've made a little bit of progress. And... We've learned more about the Templars and their plot. Their current plot is to overthrow the Medici family and put the Pazzi in power. Uh, and they have a plan to kind of eliminate the Medici. So we have to put a stop to that. But, uh, that's gonna be a good thing for us to leave off for next time, I think. So... Yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, sorry I didn't have as much history in this episode as I normally do, although some of you may see that as a blessing. Um... I don't know how much of my little history lessons are just kind of annoying some of you or if you're actually in like interested and invested uh but screw it it's my series i'm gonna do what i want uh yeah so you can check in the description down below uh, you will find a link to my card, which has all the different places you can find me. That includes my Twitch channel where I stream, uh, my Twitter where I exist. I also have a Discord server where I host occasional watch parties pretty much every month or so. Uh, yeah, you can usually find my watch parties uh we're currently watching shiki uh we've watched up through episode eight so you can get caught up on that if you want uh, uh other than that if you want to support me directly in a financial way you can Subscribe to me on Twitch. I am an affiliate, so I You can subscribe which gives you access to emotes and stuff like that And you can also leave a tip through stream elements uh, Both are good ways to support me and I also have a what do you call it? Um, a throne wish list, which doesn't really have much on it at the moment, but it's there, it exists, and yeah, if you ever have the burning desire to give me money, or if you just are feeling generous and want to show your support for me, uh, that would all be very much appreciated. But you don't have to if you don't want to. Other ways you can support me are simply like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification to get uh, notifications whenever I post videos, like the next part of this series, which will be next week. Uh, all those stuff, you can... It 
helps. It boosts the algorithm. It tells YouTube that you enjoy my content and therefore it pushes my content to other people who might also enjoy my content. And that helps me. And it, yeah, I, I would just really appreciate it if you remember to do all that stuff. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye!